Hey guys, Blue Collar Bourbon Dad here. And today's try or buy is inspired by getting better. I got some feedback from some of my fans saying that they got too much of Bonesy in the shot and not enough of me. So I'm doing what I can to make sure that I get my whole beautiful self in each shot instead of just the skinnier half of me. So uh, hopefully you still enjoy the videos with all of my face and body in these videos. Uh, today we're going to take a look at something that's also not bourbon. Uh, we started doing some non-bourbon reviews, but this is the Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey. Uh, and this is a whiskey that is aged 10 years and finished in rum barrels. It's an 84 proofer. On the sniff, you can definitely get a little bit of sweetness in there out of the bottle. So let's see what the open glass has for us. So it's got a nice, beautiful, light brown color. Now I can definitely taste the rum finish in this. The mouthfeel is a little bit light for me for what I think a 10 year bourbon should have, or a 10 year whiskey should have. Um, Yeah, it's a little bitey um, for having that rum cask finish, but it definitely has that kind of a rum taste to it. Outside of that initial, uh, that finishing spot, there's not a lot of really good distinct flavors. It's got a little bit of the ethanol taste and smell on the front end and a little bit of heat on the back, but not anything too bad. It's not a balance, it's not a bad balance whiskey. Uh, on this one, Honestly, for me, it's it's got a little bit too much more of that rum taste to it than it does the whiskey taste that I'm kind of looking for on this. Um, it's a $25 bottle here in Ohio. Uh, it's not a bad way to go. I'd recommend you find somebody that's got a bottle uh, and try it first before you go ahead and buy it. But in the grand scheme of things, 25 bucks for an age 10 year whiskey is, is not the worst way to go if you decide you want to buy a bottle anyway. Uh, this wouldn't make it in my top 10 uh, in the $25 range. I would still uh, prefer to go with one of those Weller Special Reserves or um, maybe even one of those Old Forester 100s, uh, even a Buffalo Trace. I think in that same ballpark, I would enjoy far more than this. But uh, it's, it's not a bad whiskey. I just wouldn't say it's anything special. So the Blue Collar Bourbon Dad says, Try this one first, um, but if you do spend $25 on it, I don't think you'll be overly disappointed. Uh, I just don't know how often you'll go back for another bottle of this. So uh, guys, like the rest of these, I hope this helped. I know it helped me.